do you think what you have made me this morning be glorified? My Savior is so wonderful. Shatele Jesus is Lord. This morning, we bring glory to you. We bring you glory. We bring you glory. We bring you glory. We bring you glory. Jesus, you are God. This morning, be glorified. Your people are guarded because of who you are. Your people are guarded this morning because without you, we can't start our week. In the whole wide world, everybody is here. We thank you. We bless you. We give a glory. We give you a praise. We give you adoration. We give you all. We give you all. We give you all. We give you all. Many went to bed, still struggling to put their feet on the ground. You have kept us. Hey, you have kept us. You have kept us in that ship full of grace and mercy. This morning your word told me clearly that you will supply my needs according to your riches in glory. Hmm. Nobody has done what you have done and nobody can do what you can do. Hey! What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Your mightiness, the nature of your might, the nature of your might, glory and honor be unto you. This morning you appeared where we never be expected you because you don't fail, you constantly represent the glory, the glory, the glory. Take glory, take glory, immortal, invisible God, the only wise God, the omnipotent, the omnipresent, the omniscient, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Elohim, the man who steps in when everybody decides to go back. This morning, once again, we are here in your presence to say thank you for what you do, what you have done. Ah, no man can do. We give you glory, we give you praise for who you are, for who you are, for who you are. You deserve, you deserve, you deserve. You deserve, you deserve, you deserve, you deserve all the glory. Be magnified. Be highly exalted. Beyond the reach of the understanding of man. Beyond the capacity of scientific evidence. You come in with the supernatural. Prove to the world. That you are God. This morning in this gathering of our worship. We are here to say thank you. That you have granted us a morning like this. The morning like this is only you who gives unto us. Your name forever be glorified from the rising of the sun until it going down the same. Coming here this morning before you. Is to worship and say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. 
Give you glory. Oh, 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 oh. Brabe. Tsunami. Kume. Kaino. Nami. Nao. Jesus. Nao. Shall I say it? Yeah, man, you are. This morning, the Lord told me whoever appears first, pray for the person. Father, I lift up Sheila before you. I declare over the life of Sheila that for her joining me as the first face to be part of this morning's broadcast. I pray for her. I open doors for her. I declare your power over her life. Whatever her heart desires are, grant it, grant it, grant it, grant it, grant it in the name of Jesus. Thank you for her life. Thank you for her life. In Jesus' name. Mary, welcome, welcome. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, worship the Lord and give God worship. Thank him for a new day. Smile because Jesus has granted it. Hey, what went on throughout the past week? Yes, it can't win him the other can. The home home look so well. Say, I'm making the home now. Hey, hey, hey. Now, where are we? When crown I'll be here. And obey that I say. And obey that I say. And I pay Dana say why? Dana say, 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 pa, my winner sooner than I say. Dana say, Dana say, Dana say, Dana say, Dana say, Dana say, Kessi Kessi pa. Are you thanking God? Are you thanking God? Thank God from your heart. Look, smile because you are alive. Oh, I went around a certain place of work. I saw somebody's obituary. And I was like, wow! When did it happen? Is it three weeks ago? Hey. Hey, hey, Kua, maybe I be you. Many die, and we say rest in peace, but they are doing this. Return if possible. Don't allow the devourer to devour you. But when he grants you the opportunity to see it next day, thank him. Then I say, then I say, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Come on, my witness, so begin to thank God, begin to thank God. Bible says that in his secret place you will dwell. He said, he said, he said, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall constantly abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. The Lord in him will I trust. He shall deliver me from the snail of the fowler and under, under that and, and, and within that nonsense pestilence he shall not allow them to eat you up. 
this morning you want to say thank you for keeping me in your dwelling place thank you for keeping me thank you for keeping me thank you for keeping me lift up your voice somebody and begin to exalt the righteousness and the kinship of god come on sing thank you to him i thank you i dwell in the secret place of the most high in the sicknesses of my children in the temperature condition of my children in the stomach ache of the week in the headache of the week you kept me 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 kaya daria den dadi abanda kotuya gade ramate bria dele be ki brande kabudi andele be sambranda kaya taya palu tondi atele ba sandile atabrata e katia banda ramaya i am grateful i thank you i bless you i give the glory this morning because you deserve all the glory because you deserve all the thanks this morning if it is not you lord where will i have be I thank you, Lord, because you deserve it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You, Lord. Give me glory this morning. We are grateful. We are grateful. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Anytime we hear give thanks, most of us, we don't know what we are giving thanks for. But we are much grateful, oh God, for the gift of life. Get your oil. Get your communion. Make sure these things are with you. Anytime you come and join us for service. We are just about to anoint ourselves into the week. Call a friend. And tell the friend. It's time to pray. Share the page with a friend. Welcome somebody. Don't just be part of the worship. Don't just be part of the prayer time. Without adding a friend. Ah. 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 This morning, your prayer is simple. I'm grateful, Lord. I love it. Who is God? Ah, who again? God bless you, Sheila. God bless you, Sheila. This morning, I say, get your bottle of oil. If you don't have what we have missed, we have a bottle of oil for the year, and it is the salt and oil. That is a constant preservative that the Lord gave us to do. And we move according to it. Get it, and let's pray together. Whatever you went through during the week, remember that because it was available for you, that is why you are back. The last week I was telling you, Bible says in the book of First Corinthians, chapter 10. The 30 and the 14. He says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. Hey, you are crying, you are wailing, you are falling, and you don't want to rise again. This morning, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. There is no temptation that comes your way that is greater than you, except the common ones. And this is common to all mankind. But God is faithful. But God is faithful. 
Because God will not tempt you beyond what you cannot bear. But when you are tempted, He will always provide a way out that you can endure it. He will provide a way that you can endure it. He will not pick you out of the, of, of the temptation. He will not exempt you from the temptation. He will not let you jump over the stop. He will provide a way of escape. He will provide a way of escape. He will cause you to move out of it. He will build you with a self-control through that experience. We all get to that point. I'm telling you. I'm telling you I get to that point. A very huge point. A point where it is difficult. A point where I pick my phone, no number appears to be called. When I call those I'm calling, it's like a service of futility. And I asked God, you said I am in the month of divine helpers. Where are my helpers? I need them. I need them. The Lord says, go and read. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse number 13. I go down there. I say, it says 13 and 14. It says, No temptation has overtaken you. Kai is in your Bible. No temptation has overtaken you. I read it. I said, I've read this scripture several times. I became sick. I know those who are close to me, most of them will be surprised. I'm sitting. And that's why PA should be shocked. But yesterday, as late as 2 a.m., my son, Selassie or Ting, was celebrating the birthday on the 18th. And I took a decision to pray for him. So I jumped into prayer at that hour. All those I prayed for before they go to bed. They saw the time I prayed for them. And I know my, my, my BA will be shocked. What is this? What kind of man is this? What is happening? If our strength comes from man, we will fail. It becomes so hard. It becomes so difficult. That in the month of your divine helper, no help is coming. But the Bible says, No temptation has overtaken you except that which is common to mankind. And God is faithful, He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. So I realized that what I was going through, it is me, my own cross. I can bear it. I can bear it. I can bear it. I don't know about you, but I came to tell you that he has made provision for you. He will go through with you. Because my Bible says in Psalm 23, Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. What evil is there that you are afraid of? He will not let you jump over the shadow of death. You will go through it, but you become a survivor. Survival. You become a story to be read. You become a testimony to be shared. This morning, I came to tell you, wrestle forever, but there is an end to your story. There is a man who has made it for us. Verse 14. He said, therefore, my dear friends, don't fall. To the gimmicks of the devil.
The conditions are difficult. The situations are hard. No one to turn your head. But he, 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 he makes a way where the seems to be no way. This morning, if you say God has not done anything, so you can't say thank you. The friend you had dead is more connected than you. And what they said killed him by word of mouth is what happened to you and you are still alive. Emily says, good morning, Holy Spirit. Thank you for yet another beautiful day and a gift of life. All glory unto you, Lord. Thank you. David, God bless you for coming. Share the page, invite your friend and tell a friend. It's the place that we have to pray with. We are just about to pray. Get your bottle of oil and you want to pray for yourself into the week. The theme of our prayer is praying into the week. Pray into the day and the week. It is not normal. Monday to Fridays are not normal days. Therefore, you need to pray and secure your head over Monday, over Tuesday, over Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, till we sit again Sunday dawn throughout the Monday. The things that happen. Hey, be careful. Don't sit and say, me or nobody. Look, the Bible came to steal, to kill, to, to kill and to destroy. Don't say you don't have anything. Yesterday in the evening around 10.30 I saw a message on my phone. A friend just lost the wife. And the first thing I asked is that I didn't hear the wife. Sick. So, what happened? He said, she said, my head. We rushed her to the hospital. The doctors asked me to step outside. And the next thing was my wife behind the screen. He can't control himself. So I called him. And he said, he doesn't want to believe that the wife is dead. I said, yes, the denial is normal. Say no. He has asked the doctors to let her lie down. She will wake up. And that's why she sent you the message. He sent me the message that we should vigil because the wife will wake up. So I entered my house. I went to the bedroom. Immediately I started praying. The Lord says, She's gone. I don't know how you feel when you wake up in the morning in the midst of all your troubles. I don't know how you feel when you wake up in the morning, you see all the troubles, you see your children's school fees. I don't know how you feel when you wake up in the morning and you see that your sickness is there. I don't know how you feel when you wake up in the morning and you realize that the day has broken again for you to find how you can get to work. I don't know how you feel when you wake up in the morning and you still realize that your rent has not been paid. I don't know how you feel when you wake up in the morning and you still remember that the people you are owing have sent you a WhatsApp message. Today, can I get part of my money? I don't know how you feel. You wake up in the morning and still you are jobless. But I wake up in the morning. You know one thing? When I'm sitting at dawn or at midnight and I'm praying and reading, then my son will wake up. We hear them coming up to go and wee wee. I hear their dog bra. Then the next thing is I see that they are stepping outside from the washroom to come to where I'm lying down. 
and what will come and say good good morning daddy good evening daddy and you know what i'm saying they are still alive they wake up in the morning and i see they are alive because what is going on over the night to the next morning crossing over is not easy no temptation is bigger than what God will allow to come on your way it is a normal temptation on all mankind but you have the supernatural power behind you therefore you know there is a light at the end of the tunnel Kukuluma was asking a question on social media this week who has the light and has crossed to the end of the tunnel he posted it and I read it who has the light and has crossed far to the end of the tunnel why didn't the person see the entrance hey ask for the why they come you have a list of people you are taking care of grown-ups who depend on you they go to hospital you have children who in the morning they need money you have people with sickness that without your funds they cannot go they wake up and the first greeting is to appreciate you and the next thing is to expect that my medicine is finished my test strips are finished my, I, 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 grandma must go to the hospital grandma is not feeling well which side should we take grandma why they should take care not because there's no hospital but the movement from the house to the hospital is demanding you to send them something not because they are beggars not because they don't value what is going on but because they didn't tell sickness to come but it has come Where their resource must come from is also dry. You turn to the left, you turn to the right. There is nothing in the white. There's nothing in the pocket. There's nothing in your account. But through it all, here are you. Here is your face. Ah, once again in another week. Why won't you lift your voice and thank him? God will always work it out. Ah, I love that, Gloria. He will always work it out. Because that is what he says in his word. He said, there is no temptation that is bigger than you, George Luther. You. You. But it's the same temptation that he brings it on all mankind. But the difference is that he will make a way for you out. Not for all mankind. You. You. You, because you have believed on him. This morning, as you thank God, pick up your bottle of oil. We want to pray for ourselves. You want to lay your hands on your head and you want to speak on your head. Use your index finger. We're doing seven times of oil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lay your hands on your head. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for another week. I bless you for the opportunity to cross over. 
My name is George Lutrot. I declare over my life your divine safety. Use me as a point of contact for my family members, my children, my wife, my household, my driver, my gardener, my cook, my babysitter. I declare over my life, my workers, let me be a point of contact. That as you protect me, Lord, protect them too. Whatever is a hindrance, whatever is a burden, whatever is a worry, that would delay them from living and becoming that blessed one you have called out for. As I pray, use me as a point of contact. That as you keep me, you will keep them. Pray for myself. Protect me from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, till I sit before you again. Work with me in this month of divine help. Release my helpers. So I lay my hands on my head. Bless my going out. Bless my coming in. Bless my going out. Bless my coming in. Bless my going out. And bless my coming in. Rebuke any untimely death. Cause me, Lord, to represent you on earth, alive and not dead. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Our theme for this week is My month of divine Helpers They are helpers and they are helpers Not everybody is a helper Some of us are wounded because of wrong helpers Some of us have become victim because of wrong helpers. But this morning, may God from heaven, from the throne room of grace and mercy, come through for you with the right helper. You don't need to be at the wrong places too much so you can make it. May God come through for you. May he come through for your sickness. May he come through for your hardship. May he come through for that childlessness. May God come through and grant you testimony beyond your thinking. He didn't bring you here to disgrace you. He didn't bring you here to put you to shame. Their condition is too difficult. But Bible says that there is no temptation that the Lord will allow on you. That is bigger than mankind. It is a normal temptation on all mankind. But he makes provision out for you. He brings you the comfort that nobody has. All of us are going through the same. But before the end of the day, he provides lights at the end of the tunnel.
It's not easy. It is not easy when the situation is not bringing a divine helper, but a demonic helper. So we are praying for divine helpers, but there are too many demonic helpers. Helpers who come as vampires. Helpers who come to drain you. Helpers who come and use you as scapegoats. Helpers with a demonic request. Helpers that are derailing you from your faith. A young lady left her cry. As a married woman. By virtue of posting, the husband gets visited, and the husband was shocked that when it's time for prayer, the wife is just watching. But went out to do something before he returned. Here is the wife doing a blushing. To pray as a Muslim. He nearly died. In the village. The husband said. He nearly collapsed. Not because the Muslim religion. Is a bad religion for him. No. That the wife who one time. Was a prison worship leader. Before leaving Accra. All of a sudden have drifted. To become a Muslim. What went wrong? They didn't think about their marriage. They didn't think about their children. What happened? Sat the wife down, was talking to the wife. The wife said she became, condition became so hard in the place that the one who was about to help her said the only way to help her is a conversion. And it is not in the Quran. It is nowhere. The Quran is against it. But you see, the helper came up there to come and help somebody's wife and insisted that the only way I can help you is to become a Muslim. Not all helpers are divine. Some are demonic. Some comes to drain you off your way. This morning you want to declare and pray, Oh Lord, any wrong helper that has been released for this week concerning the condition I am going through, I declare move them away from where I am. Walk them out of my path. I am here not to come and change my God. I am here not to come and revert from being a Muslim to a Christian because of a condition. It is all always here. It is not just the Muslim that are changing people from Christianity. It is not just the Christians that are changing people from Muslim. There are people that for them to give you help, they want to put a condition down. May God give you a helper without unfavorable condition. Yes. 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 Lift up your voice, you want to pray with me. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, as I lift up my voice, I declare any helper who is not needed in my life, any helper that doesn't come with a conscience of help, any helper that is coming to drain me, any helper that is coming to put me back to square zero, as I lift up my voice and I pray, anywhere they are located, anywhere they were posted from, anywhere they were released from, may they go back to sender, back to their origin, back to their origin, change their location, 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 change their location. Are you here with me? Say power. We'll pray again. Hear it. Hear the song. It 
it is difficult. They were wise. They had help. Some go to look for help and they say without sex is difficult. Some go to look for help. And they say without you bowing. He needs to come through for you. And I promise you that he will come through. But the first thing is that may God change. The location of the wrong helpers. Bible says. If God doesn't come through. They will even follow the right helpers to come and destroy you. After the right help has come. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. A genuine person is looking for counselor Lutrot. Not with an evil intention. But behind the one looking for me. There is somebody else standing. Who wants to destroy me. So we should share counselor. Once the one looking for me doesn't know me. If God doesn't come through, they will give you into the hands of the, of the wrong person. I was sitting down, somebody was saying that Counselor Power, with your son, or son, or share the channel. Yes. Any person, they see how they do TV so. I've not spoken with you for more than 20 minutes. Then somebody comes inside. And I don't know when you counselor, and can't say you're not And the person said, Oh, sir. Whatever he was going to say, he didn't say, I needed a weapon to capitalize on to pray. When he let us, the person, now when the car said, but she didn't say counseling me. Oh, we are sorry, Papa, he has destroyed. There are wrong people who stand by you as right helpers. Somebody can follow a right helper to this. Okay, okay. I, I like Bible, so let me do this in the Bible. In the book of, uh, do you have your Bible with me? Now go to the book of Matthew. Go to the book of Matthew chapter number 2. Are you there? And this story is a very simple story. Very, very simple story. The three wise men. It's not a hidden story. The Bible says that and when Jesus was born, a star was released. And anytime that sign comes up, if you are a king and a king over a nation, it's a normal ritual that these stars don't come out just like that. Anytime you see the appearance of the star, it means that a good news are coming to the land. There is a new royalty. There is a new voice. There is a new singer. There's a new footballer. There's a new rich man. There's a new beautiful girl under there. There's a new marriage breakthrough. When you see the stars, But the Bible says that Herod was then the king who wants to reign forever. And once he wants to reign forever, the good news to everybody doesn't sound like a good news to him. Maria Tabakahende. Everybody is dancing to the voice of Counselor Lutrot. Everybody is appreciating the effort of this young man. Everybody says you are good. Your voice is good. The way you behave, the way you do your things are right. But within the people saying they are good, there is somebody who is appreciating with a demonic mentality. Herod. And that a baby has been born. And the baby is a future king. No baby will put on a chair at age 10. It's a monarch. But the hearing of a newborn child brought 
an evil intention in the head of Herod. Bible says when Herod saw and heard a baby has been born, and naturally, naturally, Bible says the three wise men they saw the star which they interpreted correctly that for the appearance of the star a king has been born we can't keep quiet we can't hide what god is doing in our lives i can't stop dressing i can't stop speaking i can't stop sharing the opinion that god has given to me after going to school but who yet again? They are also and takrachen edom any sound. A lot of people are chasing you because of what you do. But not all eyes are good eyes. He needs to come through for you. And I pray for you this morning. In your office, you were trying to do the best, not because of anybody. But that has brought you envy. You are trying to live that godly life. That has brought you pain. You are trying to become the best among the best. That has brought you disgrace. But I came to tell you today. That you are exempted from the death of the evil ones. The wrong helper will be turned to the other side. Wrong helpers will not come to destroy you. They will not get you. You will escape. But with the right helper. They help us hear the same thing. They watch your social media. But at the same time, the wrong helpers are also watching. Ah, are you not here with me when we book and we are praying seriously? And they bring insults. They come to derail. They come to say things. They come to change our focus. They come to tell you there are people in the church that even will cause you not to give back to God. I get scared anytime I read Ananias and Sapphira's story in the Bible. You know why? Because they decided to give to God their property. They vowed to God we are going to sell our property and bring it to you, Jesus. Peter, we are bringing this for the help of the work of God. It was their own property. But when they came back, the money convinced them not to give back. Peter, all because they also had a need. I've been there before. I've been there before where I went to pledge to God an amount, and immediately when the money came, there were needs before me. I was tempted to go and pick some to go and solve the needs. And I was trying to tell God a new Bible God, but you know, they are so in need, they are helpless people that we need to help them. But the Lord kept telling me. This is what you asked for and that is why I brought that to you. Go and give it to the church. There is no temptation that comes over your way that is beyond mankind. Wrong helpers are everywhere. Even in your giving, they are wrong helpers. They whisper in your ears. It is too much. They, so, they don't know what you are going through but they come in to come and help you die faster and you are supposed to go through. Matthew chapter 2. Now watch it here. Bible says after Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Mega from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. There is only one place we can find him. If a king is born, there's only one house that produces king. 
under the normal reg oh my god i don't know who i'm talking to there is a normal regulations that if there should be one other person that will come and replace the president if there's one person that must come and replace the singer if there's one person that must be born as a rich man it comes from one particular house so the helpers were not wrong that nobody can give birth to a king and there is no wrong place a king can be born kings are born in palace not in hospitals so when they saw the star that somebody has appeared they follow to the regular place where this thing can be coming from but unfortunately it was not the regular place god can cause a star to appear not through the regular but the unregular because he makes a way where the sin to be no way it is the temptation that is normal to mankind but god makes a way of escape The wise men were wise, but they didn't make a mistake. The wise men didn't make a mistake. They went to where they can find you. They knew where this thing can come from. Can anything good thing come from Bethlehem? There's nothing good coming out of a place. Bible says that, and when Naaman, a leader of the soldiers, they went to kill and they realized that there was a small child among them. They caught the child as a slave. Little did Naaman know that that small child was the child that was coming to help, to connect him back to the prophet in Israel, so that the leprosy would go. They brought a child as a slave. But when Neymar was refusing to bath in the Jordan, the small child was the one that helped Neymar so that the leprosy can go. They are helpers of destiny. And they are helpers of doom. But you need a divine helper. The three wise men saw the star. And they know that once the star has appeared, it is coming from the house of Herod. You can't be around a shanty region and they say there's a queen that has been born. There's a king that has been born. You can't be around UK. You can't be around the Birmingham Palace and when there's a star that has appeared and you go and ask in the house of the tolerance that has there be a king that has been born here? You will go to the Birmingham Palace. It is normal. There are times that you are given into the hands of your enemy because of right helpers. I won't tear here. You don't understand. They didn't go to say anything wrong. They followed the star so they will announce the breakthrough of Councillor Lutrot. I am looking for Councillor Lutrot's house. And they go to a first house. And they all believe that the way this house looks, there is a particular car park there that looks like his Volvo. So they go there and say, I am looking for Councillor Lutrot. They say, wow, does he live in this area? A delivery guy gave you up to your enemies in the area. He's looking for a location. And the Google map says you have arrived. And he's standing in front of another place. Who they don't even know you reside there. They can give you up into the hands of your wrong demonic helpers. Not deliberately. But God says there is a way of escape. For in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13. He says, no temptation has overtaken you, Judge Lutrot. Except the common one. God will come through for you. The three wise men saw the star. And they followed the star to where kings are born. This is your first prayer this morning. You want to declare, oh Lord. Any wrong, any wrong person who has taken record of my breakthrough. Any demonic helper who have heard, because listen, listen, listen. Bible says in the book of John, for the devil came to kill. 
The devil came to steal. So there is nothing that the devil came to do that is pleasant. John chapter 10 verse 10. We're going to pray this prayer. Watch it. It says, The thief cometh only to steal. And that, and that, that new translation says, The devil comes only to steal and kill and destroy. You can't be smiling with the devil. You don't get it. The three wise men went to follow the normalcy. But unfortunately, in the normalcy, they were exposing the greatness and the weakness out of... They are look, there are two prayers you are going to pray. Until the birth of Jesus, nobody knew that Herod didn't want a competitor. Until I appeared loudly as a counselor, Later did I know that somebody who I moved with was the greatest enemy who was going to use what she knows about me to destroy me. We have welcome enemies around us that we don't know. They came to steal. They came to kill. They came to destroy. Your need has landed you in the hands of a divine demonic helper instead of a divine helper why should your school fees change your religion why should your school fees change your god why should your childlessness change your god why should a visa change your god I am waiting for a divine helper, not a demonic helper. Not all helpers are needed. Not all gifts are taken. Not all offerings are received. Not all helps are help. It's difficult to identify wrong helpers. But I pray this morning that before this service will end, the Lord will expose every evil helper around you that they will fall flat and die away from your life. Some we can't kill them. But we're going to pray a prayer today that wrong helpers will find a new route. The three wise men saw the star. Nothing is giving you up. Your star is giving you up. Your star, my video. This is when I was preparing the message. Eh? I saw myself in this message. I became a target because somebody took zero point zero eight seconds of my video and created enemies for me. Block right helpers. They thought they were doing good by posting a video for others to laugh, for others to comment. Out of the video, they brought on you wrong helpers. I pray for somebody this morning that I have been there. But it was a common temptation. It was a common temptation. Bible says that no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. Wrong helpers. The Lord must expose wrong helpers. Now watch it. Go back to the book of Matthew chapter 2 and continue reading. It, say, it says verse 2. 
verse 2, and ask, where is the one who has been born? King of the Jews. We saw his star when it rose and we have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, and by no means least among the rulers of Judea, of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. The prophecy was clear. Herod was disturbed. Why is the king of Israel not coming from the kingship of God? Will, now, let me give you a prophetic word. Now, receive this prophecy. God will break the normal cycle and bring you out of your poverty and make you one of the richest, not because of the family's treasure. God will cause you to break through, not through the normal means everybody knows, but he will release for you a helper. That can change your story. He will release for you a helper with the end at the end of the tunnel. He will bring you a helper just because you came to join the prayer line today. Then Herod called the Miga secretly and find out from them the exact time the star has appeared. Now watch it. Your enemy will want exact reason when you came into the scene. When did Counselor Luther come? Or your wine? That may not be a counselor or go school or him. They want to investigate so they can break you down. But they will use your divine helper who doesn't know that this person is a wrong person. Wrong information in the hands of a demonic helper from a divine helper. I won't tell message now. Say, won't tell say, won't tell say. King Herod calls secretly and asks the three wise men exactly where did you see the star? The location of the breakthrough. Exactly where did you see it? And I am just imagining somebody who has a good heart and believe that the king will also be ready to celebrate a new king who is a baby. Because what can a baby offer? What do I have? What do I have? In my struggle, what do I drive? Why do you want to eliminate me? But remember the devil came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. They don't want you up there. It sounds normal. Now, see our hand. What's it? It is easy for people to tell people, give people your number. It is easy for people to show. I, 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 I have experienced it before. There are times I'm just sitting in my office. Then somebody breaks the door. Good morning, counselor. I came around and I asked them, they said, this is where your office is. And I said, I wanted to come X, Y, Z. It is not wrong, but it is not proper for me. Jesus. Some people must be exposed before they hear the secret. Because there are times that those who hear it, they might not be delayed. They can go ahead of the wise person. They can go ahead. They can go ahead and eliminate you. And you saw it. When they gave the location, he used the location to cause evil. Ah. What did I say?
God must come through for you. He said no temptation is bigger than mankind, but he is there to make sure that you don't die in your temptation. Therefore, I pray this morning for you watching me. Every condition that you have been set into, every trap that they have set for you, may it operate without you. May it operate without you. May it operate without you. In the name of Jesus. At exact time did you see the star? He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and set carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. The demonic helper comes in like a divine helper. This morning, your message and your prayer is simple. Any wrong association with my right helper from the wrong helper I, I i abolish it this morning in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus as i lift up my voice and i pray oh lord any wrong helper that has gotten the contact of my right helper any demonic helper that has associated with my right helper because of their position, because of their level, that they have right over my right helper, and they are taking information about me. This morning, as I lift up my voice, oh Lord, disconnect the uh, disconnect the association, disconnect the association everywhere they are located. That they are taking information from my divine helper to use against me. Disconnect the association. Lift up your voice this morning and begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare. I pray in the name of Jesus. Any wrong association with my right helper, just because of who I am, I declare in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they are located, let them be disconnected. In my family house, may they be disconnected. Lord, in my mother's side, let them be disconnected. Every right divine helper who has come up because of me, but have come across a wrong helper who is acting like an associate helper, who is acting like Herod. I declare in the name of Jesus, in the appearance of my star, any Herod that has appeared to talk to my helpers. I cause them not to have a conversation with them. I disconnect the conversation. I disconnect the conversation. I disconnect the conversation. I disconnect the conversation. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere they are located in my office, uh, that because it is time for me to go for the training. It is time for me to go for the training. Anybody in my office uh, who is standing against my survival. Anybody in my office who is refusing my employment. Who is refusing my promotion. Because they have something that nobody knows. Uh, anybody around me using my web upon against me, my weapon of favor using it against my time, I declare in the name of Jesus, may they not survive I disassociate their groups right now, I break their trade right now